My name is Doris Mast. How many children I have depends on how you count. So I have six children where my name is on their birth certificate, uh, two stepchildren, so then now we're up to eight. And I mentor a teenager that I consider prior to the family, and I do foster care. So somewhere around nine to 10 children are kind of in and out of my life. My child number five and child number six uh, adopted from the foster system here in the Indy area. So Lexi is turning 21. She's so excited for turning 21. She is deaf. Cordell is 17. Um, he's on the spectrum and nonverbal. If there's no special needs classroom, Cordell can't go to church. He cannot sit next to me and behave himself. So there's no way that we're going to have this child running up and down the aisles. Um, that won't be worshipful for anybody. So on a Sunday morning, he will <laughs> get out of the car and he literally runs down the sidewalk, runs down the hall and exits to the left. And that's his classroom. So he has one-on-one, -on -one, that's where he thrives. And so they go through the lesson, they have their things that they work with him on, teaching him about Jesus. Cordell needs a room where there's a lot of sensory items in it. He just loves confined space. He'll crawl into my cabinets and take my linen closets apart and crawl back in. That's just who Cordell is. So the space that is being provided is not only going to meet Cordell's needs, but the population of kids on the spectrum is growing. And if we want to reach those families and those individuals, we have to be proactive and get in space ready for these children rather than reactive. Oh, they're here. We don't know what to do with them. So I'm really thrilled with being proactive and meeting the challenges that are ahead of us. We're laying the foundation for the special ministry. And then with the larger rooms and the better equipped rooms, um, all we can do is grow. All we can do is grow, connect more lives to Jesus, and connect more families to Jesus. It's coming. Get ready.